Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Alright, we're going to go ahead and open this door. And we are going to head on out. This was the next area. And I remember it being crawling with stuff. And this time we're not crawling with stuff. So, that could only mean good things, correct? I remember there being a slide over here. Oh! Well, that, that sucked. That sucked quite a bit. Obviously, I'm not paying attention to my surroundings. I should be. But I'm not. I'm being an idiot instead. I wonder if I can climb this. I wonder if I can climb it with Natalia and have her go down the slide. Ooh, let's try that. Oh, there's a there's a shiny. I like that that's how like the the secondary characters like their job is to just be like, ooh, shiny. Wee well, you can't slide. Cause I remember uh in Res Oh, I see something down there though. And uh, I remember in uh, Resident Evil 6, when you got to that park, you could actually make peers uh, get on the panda and ride it. And you could make them go down the slide and stuff like that. I wish that they would have incorporated that into this. Because that was so cool and weird. I mean, it was just a tiny little thing, but, you know, it's something. Alright. Okay. Get over here, kid. Get over here, kid. Yeah, I see you over there. All right, you're gonna collect this green herb. Good, and you're also gonna something ahead. point Be it careful. down. All right, we're gonna sneak over here. I'm gonna pick this thing up. Ooh, magnum ammo. Ooh. Yeah, Barry will be happy that I gave him this. All right, now sneaky, 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 sneaky. Stabby, stabby. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't like these things. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay, I think the I think the I think the thing I'm aiming for is the head this time. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. I can't see it. I can't see it. There we go. Alright. Um Let's continue on. We gotta shoot this thing. Fookers. Alright. All right, we gotta shoot this thing a couple more times, at least. There we go, just one. Oh, I just had to hit it one more time. Now I'm fine. All right, so if Moira is actually dead, then is Claire dead? Or is this all a ploy and the little girl's actually like the mastermind behind all this? All right. Why is everything all wavy? Everything's all wavy. I don't understand that. Alright, let's go in here. Wait, what's the X for? Oh, she's got a brick. Duh. Alright. Handgun ammo. Alright, so I can't tell exactly what this all is. For some reason, there's a big wavy spot here. Oh, 
Okay, I can't tell what's going on. There's a big wavy spot there. And it dissipated after I went outside. But we're still following after him. And uh, I'm having a feeling I'm missing a lot of stuff. But you know what? We're trying to get through this uh, in a short time. So that we can get a fucking Jesus. So that we can get a fucking Jesus. Alright. Kill that thing. Jesus. Okay. Um, we are trying to get the best score that we possibly can. So, And I don't know what that was. That was like... There was like this big cloud of... All right, that's weird. All right, so she's getting unnerved by all this, and I think I would as well. Um, the Samurai Edge has the ability to daze. Um, but I don't have anything else. To... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah, it was only six months ago, Barry. Uh, doesn't look like we're going that way. Doesn't look like we're going that way. Could just be me, but... What's this? Uh, things have changed so much. Okay, that's the same note that I found last time. Uh, so let's have her go through here. Uh, A. I thought it was close enough last time I hit A. But there's somebody here, Barry. Oh. Oh, I was like, I couldn't open this door before. Alright, let's get her over here to open this. Okay. Ah, damn it. Let's try again. Nope, that's not going to be it. That's going to be it. Alright, and the second one is over here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Alright, there's a parts box here. Alright, that's... I guess what we're going to do is we're going to head back to that room now. And we are going to use the desk. Can I use it as the little girl? Oh, okay, that's Barry. Okay. Hi, uh, Barry. Here is a parts box. Thanks, Kurd. All right, now let's go ahead. Capacity level two. All right. Um, excuse me. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably the probably the, the assault rifle. Because if I can use the there we go. The assault rifle is going to have a longer stint now between loading times, which is always a good thing. All right, now I heard a voice. I heard an actual voice that was not like a creepy monster, unless it's luring us. Oh. Alright, there we go. Got it. Invisible monsters. You ain't got nothing on me. There's something weird going on in some of these areas. I don't hear a thing, but yet somehow there's a thing. And it, and it hurts me if I stay in the spot for a long period of time. But it doesn't do anything otherwise. Your father hasn't come home at all since going to the monument. I tried to wait, but I can't do it any longer. I've gone off to look for him. I was feeling pretty anxious, but everyone there was so nice to me. They told me something nasty was going around, so they gave me a pe pe preventative shot and this bracelet that, that said they would help me, that help protect me. This place is so large and wondrous, I've never seen anything like it. Of course, this is no big deal for her. She saved our island. I'm starting to feel like she can do anything. I regret ever having doubted her. 
I suppose it's nothing, but I've been feeling a bit dizzy. Maybe I'm just stressed. Oh, and I finally found your father. Well, part of him, anyway. I always knew he had a good head on his shoulders. Now that's all that's left of him. I can't possibly bring him back like this. This bracelet has been making strange sounds. It's a little annoying. But don't you worry. I'm going to find the rest of your father, and we're coming home. You must be so hungry. That is disturbing. Uh -huh. Disturbing and disgusting. At the same time. Ow. Why does that hurt? I can't do anything. Is that like a gas leak? Alright, A. Eh? Oh, it's one of them flies. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Switch over to Barry. Fuck off. Try to scare a little girl. That's the reason why. Alright. Well, let's see. We got a red herb here. We got a ruby. Ooh, one of these things. I think that pushes me up to, yeah, five. I've got over half of these things. That does not normally happen. Let's just say that. Alright. Uh, can she pick it up? Yes, she can. Okay, so we're going to have her pick up the red herb and turn it into three more green herbs. Because uh, I think she's got the ability to combine it. Aha, with that. Nice. Now we've got five. We're going to pass one more over to Barry so that he's got that. We're also going to pass this ammo over if we can. We're going to pass this ammo over if we can. And can we pass this over? No, we can't. Okay, well, that's good. That's all good. We don't need that. All right, so there's that. And that did that floor, I believe. Because now we're going to go back out to where the stairs were. And we're going to go up. Okay, we can't go that way. So that means we got to go further up. Now, I know I heard a voice. I don't know who it is. Could be the overseer. i got to be careful. Well, that's disturbing. Can we open this door? Okay, it's locked from the other side. That's probably good. Although I have a feeling it's not going to stay locked for long. Um. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he shoves the helicopter back out the hole in the wall. God, Barry, you make the most noise that you possibly can. Uh, why does he do that? Why he makes so much noise? Can we go in here? We can go in here. This is what happens to him. Alright, let's switch over to the Magnum. Balls, balls. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, I have the drill now. This should give us a whole lot more options. <sighs> Barry. You son of a bitch. You beautiful, beautiful son of a bitch. Alright, we can't really go down there. What can we do? I mean, we can drill holes. Uh... Was there something in that room? I believe there's something in that room. Alright, poor bastard. I put you down. Put you out of your misery. Oh, there's a ruby over here. Alrighty. Um, let's see. There's nothing really in here. Other than more handgun ammo. Alright. Um... Go back out this door. Gives you a whole lot more options. I really like puns. I just want you to know that. Just so that you know that I love puns. And they make me happy. Aha. Okay, this thing's telling me that there's a wall somewhere. Oh, I think it's down below us. That I can drill through. Alright. Let's go down one more. Alrighty. Looks like it's down here. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I keep forgetting that that was there. Once again, Barry is the loudest human being on the face of the planet. He's the best thing to take with you during a zombie apocalypse. The man who shoves helicopters out of windows. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go out the door here. Looks like that guy was trapped under a car. At least I think. He holding something? Yeah, he's got the same exact bracelet. Oh, that would be yeah. Gabe. Like sisters. That's exactly what she what said too. What kind of messed up experiment was this? What kind of? I don't know, Barry. Your guess is as good as mine, but it really was pretty f messed up. Alright, looks like we're at the tower, so unless they really want us to push forward past the tower, uh, this might be the Before end. I got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy? The one from Terra State who rescued me. Oh, it was Fisher. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. Well, the tower's literally right it. here. Come on, let's see what we can find. So I'm going to guess she did. If she left you here, kid, what do you think happened? I just want to check around to make sure I'm not missing anything. No boxes that break and stuff like that. Alright, well, looks like we're headed up here. Now, I know that there's a thing hunting the little girl. But I also know that this door is slightly ajar. So we should be able to open this thing. So I wonder what happened to Fisher. If Fisher's the one who took the little girl away from them, is he good or is he a bad guy? That's the this question. Changed. Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is disturbing. Uh, trials for the T-Phobus virus are almost complete. We've managed to reduce the lethality of the T-Virus while creating the condition that it triggers upon the target being subjected to strong emotional trauma. We've also lowered the rate of viral resistance to below 2%, all is proceeding as planned. However, the time grows near. We are close to perfection and there is zero margin for error. They were experimenting with the T-Virus. 
Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Alright, get over here, little girl. We're gonna have you deal with this. Since Barry's hands are way too big and clunky to do this. There we go. Nice job, kid. Alright, looks like we got another thousand BP. We're gonna have a lot of BP by the time we're done with this. Alright. Alright, so let's go up here. Let's kind of hunker down, because I don't know what we're about to find out. Uh, there are, like, I hope those are baby things. And not real babies. But, uh, wouldn't put a past Capcom. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's another note over here. Let's go over here and look at this note. Uh, you poor, decrepit old man. You wanted to create a new world and rule over that world as a god. But for all your ambitions, you couldn't overcome man's most formidable enemy. Enemies, age and disease. You had everything, but your crumbling body betrayed you. And then your own son snuffed out whatever pitiful entrails of life you had left, leaving you to become nothing more than a footnote in the annals of history. You failed, old man. But fear not, your dream lives on. I will take the wealth of knowledge, power, and test subjects you have given me and succeed where you failed. I will create a new world and I will rule over it as a god. Your legacy will have been long forgotten, but mine has only just begun. May your soul, if you ever had one, rot in torment for all eternity, and let hell be filled with the sound of your teeth gnashing incessantly. Wow. Now see, if I didn't know that, um, what's-his-face was a- Jesus, what is going on in here? If I didn't know that, uh, what's-his-face was Wesker's son, I would be like, wait, Wesker? And who knows? We might still be facing off with some sort of Wesker-like thing. Alright, well, we've gotten to this point, and I don't know what's going to happen now, but it seems pretty disturbing, this whole area. Alright, Barry. What's going to happen? Something's going to pop out at you, isn't it? This might be the end of it. This might just be another area, but... I, it's hard to tell. But I do know that episode 3 of this comes out on March the 10th. So, Wesker. I'm... Ooh, it is Wesker. She's so scary. I can't stand her. Wait. No. The woman here with Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers. No fucking way. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Oh shit, it's like right next to you, Barry. What in the hell is that thing? Alrighty then. Uh, the, so that was a bombshell and a half. Alex Wesker? Now I knew that he had other brothers and sisters and stuff like that. And and I know that the Wesker experiments brought more than just Albert, too. but holy shit. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Alright. <sighs> Of course, this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. <sighs> it's got all our names on it. All right, that's disturbing. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? <laughs> oh, well, next episode looks like it's going to be quite the doozy. Um, now, now we just gotta wait until March the 10th, and we can finally play episode three, which is Judgment. Uh, so, wow. Uh, all I can say about that is, is that we learned quite a bit at the end of that. Um, alright, can we skip this? Alright, we're not gonna skip it. 
And you're not going to see my score at the end because it's... Oh, no, I can skip it. Never mind. Episode 2, Contemplation End. All right, what we get? Oh, we got an A. That's actually not too bad. Scared to Death is the achievement we just unlocked. We got Countdown Episode 2, Invisible Episode 2. I don't want to take on a bunch of invisible enemies. So, eh, no thank you. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a horrible, horrible thing. Ooh, look how much BP I have. I can unlock all kinds of stuff, but I think I'll do that um, after I stop recording. So, But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are enjoying Resident Evil Revelations 2 as much as I am. And remember to hit that like button, comment, and of course subscribe. And we will see you guys in another episode. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Click in the upper left to subscribe, and then check us out playing Painkiller. Notoriously has one of the worst senses of direction that I've ever met before. <laughs> so also, make sure to check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel, and then check out Paranautical Activity. Take this! Take this! <laughs> I'm up close and personal to you, you giant.